Hi again, let's continue with this discussion of Realm and the To Do app. And uh, in the last video, you know, I've been adding functions to this uh, To Do store. And I was thinking, you know, maybe we need one more function in here. I've got Remove To Do, and that, that'll be fine as long as we pass a To Do to it. But, you know, when we remove an item in View Controller with the Table View, the Table View get really gives us the index of the To Do. It doesn't really give us the To Do. So it might be convenient if we had a little helper method here. And I'm going to say Remove at, right? And then remove at is going to remove something at an index. So you give it the index of the to-do that you want to remove, and then it'll find that to-do and remove it, right? So, you know, you send an index here. And then what we'll do is we'll say let to-do equal get. And remember, that's our function up here where you pass an index and then it gets gets you the to do at that index. So we'll say, you know, get index and then it's going to get us a to do at that index. And then what we'll do is we'll say remove to do at that index because now we have this remove function up here, right? So this is just a little helper that kind of allows us to do a little more with, you know, just reusing the functions that we have here. So anyway, so now we've got our got our to-do store worked out. So how are we going to incorporate that with uh, View Controller? Okay, so we're going to go through and we're going to have to fix View Controller, Add To-Do, and Detail View Controller. Okay, they're each going to need a little bit of editing. But let's start with View Controller. So looking at View Controller, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the array. So I'm going to delete that because our to-dos are now stored in to-do store, okay? Um, so when I scroll down here, I'm going to find table view number of rows in section. And it's going to give me an error because, you know, the array doesn't exist anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the count from to-do store, okay? So to do that, we'll say to-do store dot shared instance okay so this is the one instance anytime we talk to to do store shared instance that's the one instance of to do store that exists and then we're going to say dot count okay so that should take care of that and then the next thing we want to do is down here at self for row at index path you know we've got an error because the array doesn't exist anymore, but our to-dos are all stored in to-do store, right? So let's delete this line here that says array index path dot row, and let's replace it with to-do store dot shared instance. And then remember, we have a helper function here called get that'll get us a to-do at that index, and so we'll pass it index path dot row, okay? and that'll give us the to-do at that row. And so now that's better there, right? And uh, over here, when we get to uh, table view commit editing style, okay, so this is where we're gonna delete a to-do. So it says editing style is delete, and if so, then we're gonna you know, do array remove, but you know, we don't have array anymore, and the to-dos are not stored in the array. They're actually stored in to-do store. But remember, we have the remove function in to-do store. So what we'll do is we'll replace this line with to-do store dot shared instance dot remove. And in our case here, I want to remove the item at an index, right? Because, you know, here, if you remember before, we said remove at index, and we, we've got the index path dot row here. So we'll say to do store dot shared instance dot remove item at right and then we'll say index path dot row okay so that took care of those errors there right and then we have just a couple more things to do right um, over here in prepare for segue right this line here that says, you know, destination view controller dot to do, this is where you're going to detail view controller, right? And detail view controller 
you know, once the to-do item that you want to look at, right? So we got it from the array and passed it on. So actually right here, instead of using array index path, what we want to do is we want to say to-do store dot shared instance dot get. And then we're going to say index path dot row. Okay, so here we'll get the to-do from the shared instance and pass it to detail view controller. Okay. So that leaves us with one more error, and the error is here on add to do. And what we're, the way we're going to solve this one is we're just going to delete this, okay? Because now, you know, view controller isn't responsible for adding to dos to anymore because it doesn't even store the to dos, right? So instead, we'll go into add view controller, and add view controller will add a to do by passing in the to do information along to to do store, and the, the to do store dot swift will will handle that. So we can just delete this whole line right here, okay? And then that's going to give us an error because of the uh, add to do view controller delegate, right? So. Since we're no longer in add to do view controller delegate, we'll delete that. Okay. And uh, and then that leaves us one other little error here that says, okay, destination view controller dot delegate equals self. And then we can delete that because we're not we're not going to be the delegate anymore. Okay, instead to do store is going to handle that. Okay, and that should fix uh, we still got six errors, right? Because those are in add and detail right but for this for this file here oh wait i got a couple more i forgot way down at the bottom we'll fix those too um let me let me just remove these for now um for move row at index path i'm going to comment these out and we'll come back and fix this one later this is going to require a different solution and then down here on view did load i'm just going to remove these okay because we use this before to generate to-do items by default, so there would be some in there, but now that we save the to-do items, we won't need to have any default data because we can just add a couple to-do items and then the next time we open up the program, those will be there still. So we're gonna just delete that, okay? And so that gets rid of a few of our problems, but we're still gonna have a couple problems in add to-do and details, and we'll go back and fix those, okay? But anyway, there we go. So that, that, that fixes up view controller.